there, kids. It's your good pal, Uncle Noli. Got more questions from the uh, question barrel. <laughs> There's no barrel, right? There's no barrel. We just get them off the internet. Thanks for sending them. Answers are on the way with advice from Uncle Noli. Our first question today comes from Christopher Cullen. He writes, Uncle Noli, what is your favorite guilty pleasure? You know, there's a lot of ways I could go with this question, Chris. But I'm going to tell you something. My guilty pleasure? Food channels. Food network. No joke there. Really do like it. It's better than porn. That Ina Garten? Oh, the way she does a pot roast. Some of those things, it's the way the meat starts sweating. And the, the vegetables wilt just right. Ooh, crab cakes. Have you ever seen her make crab cakes? Chris? Take a little word of advice. Go get naked. Put on Food Network. See what happens. Uncle Nole knows sometimes. Helen S. writes, Uncle Noli, can pineapple on a pizza be accepted rather than banana on a pizza? Hey, you know what? I want to stop this right now. People, here's the definitive answer on pizza and pineapple and fruits and all that stuff. Put whatever the hell you want on a pizza, okay? I personally, I don't mind pineapple on a pizza. People say, oh, Uncle Noli, that's, that's fruit. So is a tomato, stupid. That's fine. You want to put a banana on there? It's great. Now, I would slice it up and distribute it across the pie, because if you just start putting big phallic-looking bananas on your pizza, you're going to lose friends. Or you're going to gain the ones you probably don't want to have. Never eat a banana whole. Never. Uncle Noli knows. Matthew Kulak has a great question. Uncle Noli, how do you focus on one hobby or interest when you love learning everything? I struggle to keep myself focused on one hobby or interest and want to master something before it's too late. Matthew, you apparently suffer from something called ADD. And eh, don't feel bad. So does Uncle Noli. Now, there's two ways to, you know, control this. One, medication. A lot of medication. You can do that. Number two, you know what? Go out there and just hyper-focus on those things. Take your time. Write down a list. Be disciplined with this stuff. I'm going to learn how to play the guitar on this day. On this day, do that. That always seems to make me feel better. Stay organized. Plus, the medication helps. Low dose or high dose, as long as you can still get a boner. Uncle Nose knows. Ken Wynn writes, You and Troy have always been my inspiration to start acting and doing VO since high school. Being just a lowly guy from Kentucky, where do you think I should start? Leave Kentucky. Not a whole lot of work down there. Now listen, don't get me wrong, I love the state of Kentucky. Great bourbon, huh? great basketball. Good friends, too, come from Kentucky. But if you really want to get into acting, you got to go where some of the work is. Now, a lot of people say, go to New York. No, go to Hollywood. You know where I say? Atlanta. Go to Atlanta. A lot of work in Atlanta. This isn't a joke. For young actors out there, Atlanta is a, a really nice city, and it's very affordable. And there's a little something that people don't realize, that under the sag after union rules, they have to hire locals for some of the smaller parts. It's a great way to cut your teeth. Make enough scratch to get yourself to the bigger roles in LA, New York, or Canada, where everything else is being done. Maple syrup. Uncle Noli knows. Lost Siren writes, Uncle Noli, how do I find love? Swipe left or right. Get it done. Bang. Uncle Noli knows. Our next question comes from Jen Miller. She writes, Uncle Noli, when should you tell someone to, quote, take this job and shove it? <laughs> right before you quit, Jen, because you're about to get fired. Or you could be talking about that famous Johnny Paycheck song. Take this job and shove it. Then it's acceptable anytime. But in the work setting, it's going to get you fired. Quit first. Uncle Noli knows. Ooh, relationship advice. Kevin Clawson wants to know, Uncle Noli, what's the very best way to impress a woman? You've got game, right? <laughs> Kevin, the best way to impress a woman is to not refer to yourself as having game. That's kind of a played out word. And game is different for every woman. So... Start by not thinking you got game. Be, uh, be humble, you know, be nice. And remember, the most sensitive organ in your body is your brain. That's what I'm supposed to say. Rocker world. Rock it. Uncle Noli knows. Here's a good one from William Crossan. 
Uncle Noli, any advice on starting out in acting and allowing yourself to be the character and not feel like an idiot? Well, William, here's the thing. You gotta really lean in to acting like an idiot. Basically, this is fool's work. Yeah, they'll watch the award show and everybody pat themselves on the back. Oh, this is so hard. I had to be the character. Look, we're just playing make-believe for money. Lots and lots of money. So, be willing to be the idiot. Act like the idiot. Who knows? It might end up with a, with a statue someday, you know? And a big check. Uncle Nolan knows. <laughs>